Hi, do you know Manga Studio, now known as Clip Studio Paint? It is possible to create 2D animations now with this tool and this is an introduction tutorial. Have fun! Here is Clip Studio Paint and let's create a new project. Open File, New and in the following dialog you directly have the possibility to create a so-called moving illustration. And this is an animation and here you define how many frames you're going to create and I entered six frames and here in the bottom is the timeline with an animation folder and it contains our six frames. For each frame a layer is created and when you paint onto this layer first you select the layer and then you paint onto this layer then you paint for the particular frame for this animation. Okay so let's first select uh, layer number one then I'm choosing my G pen with a black color and I paint in something really simple, just some eyes, a mouth and yeah, just a simple animation for or a simple drawing for demonstration. Some eyebrows, a simple mouth, just like that. And I have to say the drawing engine of this Clip Studio Paint is really amazing. When you try this it feels really natural to draw with these brushes. There is no brush lag or something like that. That's an absolutely great implementation. Okay, and now let's select the second frame. And when you do this and have onion skin enabled, you see this like a ghost painting of your previous frame. And you can use this as a kind of guide in your new frame to paint this again. But I want to do the following. I select the first frame that I already painted and choose Duplicate Layer. And now I have a new layer called 1A and I select the second and choose Select Layer 1A. And now I have the duplicated layer in my second frame and I just change the parts that I want to be changed and the rest stays as is. Okay. For example, I erase out the eyebrows and draw it a little bit above the ones from the previous layer. And this is the way I create my animation. Okay. Now I select the next layer. Again, I duplicated the 1A and the 1B layer is created. I right click frame number three, select 1B. And now again, I draw the eyebrows a little bit higher, the pupils a little bit bigger, and so on and so forth. And my animation is developing step by step. Just like this. Now when I move through the layers, you can already preview this animation. And again, I will duplicate this the last time now for frame number four. Choose one C my last duplicate and paint in a little bit bigger pupils and the mouth a little bit more opened just like that. And now I am selecting the frame number five. First step through the frames, check every frame and for frame number five, I again select layer 1B. And for the last frame, 1A. And that's it. A short animation. And I can already play this. Not bad, isn't it? There is one more thing I want to show you. You can select animation timeline and set the frame rate. Currently our frame rate is 8 frames per second and when I change this for example to 12 frames you can see that the animation is played faster. Also cool. Okay, one more thing I want to show you is adding underlying colors. I will add a new folder and put this folder below my animation folder which contains the outline. I name this color and add a new layer inside of this new color folder. And this layer I select for the first frame in my animation below the animation folder. Now I select 
a white brush, for example, to paint the color of the eyes. Just like that, below my outline. And because the eyes are not moving in this animation, you just need one layer or one frame. If they would move, you would create a new layer and reposition the colored eyes or just paint it again for the new frame. But now really the, the very last feature. <laughs> Let's say you want to reposition your whole animation. Then you have the possibility to select both folders then choose the move tool and move your whole animation to a new position. And when you play it now, you can see that every frame in this animation is repositioned. Okay, that's it for now. Please subscribe to my channel, support me on my Patreon and thanks a lot for watching. See you soon here on my channel.